Hello and welcome, I'm Steph and this is Real Fitness Coaching and in this video we're getting into another total body Tabata hit workout. I'm using a sandbag, my trusted Jordan Sandbag Extreme sandbag today. Uh, it's going to be body weight as well, so we're going to be alternating between sandbag and body weight, sandbag and body weight through our exercises today. Now if you haven't come across Tabata, as I'm sure you have, but it's a fantastic way to work out and work your body. You get a lot of benefits from a really short period of time, uh, usually anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes of, of high intensity work and it improves your metabolic rate. It's Soaks the furnace of your body, improves your vitality, pretty much benefits all the cells in your body, uh, your aerobic stamina, your aerobic, aerobic fitness is improved, uh, supports muscle mass, burns through uh, fat mass, so improving your body composition. And it's just a fantastic way to work out and also very, very condensed, so you can fit it into your day almost anytime, anywhere. So the workout today is going to go like this. We're going to go through eight minutes of work with our Tabata. So it's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds recovery. Uh, and we're going to repeat that 16 times over. Every exercise combination today is going to be different. Uh, exercises are going to be coming up on screen so you can see those, the names of the exercises and the demonstrations as we work through those exercises together. Uh, we've got a three minute warm up uh, and a three minute cool down uh, capping the exercise. So again, all done in about 15 minutes start to finish. 10 minutes of solid work and you get loads and loads of benefits. We're going to start off with our warm-up now, taking our arms out and around into our horizontal rotation. So pivoting on the ball of the toe as we come around. Nice big breath. And move through this just as smooth as is comfortable. Getting that spine decompressed, getting the ribs mobile, getting the hips and the ankles moving as well. So nice big movements across and just bring that breathing in time with the movements. From here we're going to stand square, hands up overhead, turn, we're tracing a nice big circle down, up and around. Notice how I'm pivoting on the balls of the toes of my feet and a nice big sweep down, up and around, getting the hips, the back, and the shoulders. One more this side and from the top we're going to go back the other way. All right, nice big movements. Again, just breathing in time with the movements of the body. If it gets out of sync a little bit, that's no problem. The breathing will find its way back into a comfortable pattern. One more, big turn. All right, from here, we're gonna go into a squat and a high knee. So feet, about hip width, squatting down. We've got a lot of squatting movements today. So we're gonna get those hips, knees, ankles warmed up. So squatting down, weight into those heels, driving up, staying balanced. I'm going to go one more. All right, I'm going to go with a wide stance, go with a side lunge, and windmill those hands from one side to the other. Touch the toes, and the other hand reaching behind the body. So we're getting that twist through the body. We're also getting a side lunge, loading into one hip while stretching the adductor, the inner thigh on the training straight leg. And nice big movements, whole body movements. And all right, from here, we're going to take a step forward into a lunge, hold the position, rotate round across that lead leg, step down, hold, rotate across, and come back up. Steady and balanced. Again, testing those legs, but also getting the core and the midsection moving. About a minute and a half of our warm up left. We're going to do some pulse raising in a moment. One more step, down, control across, one more on this side, all right, okay, we're going to walk our fingertips to a high plank, we're going to go into a mountain climber and get those shoulders loaded up and those knees driving, building up that heart rate, warming up those triceps and shoulders, knees not too high off the floor, core strong, light on the toes, some mountain climbers in our workout today. We're going to bring it to a stop, feet back, walk back. I'm going to come up onto the toes into a high knee, shake out those arms. And spend the next 30 seconds just with that gentle high knee while I go through the exercises. So our first one is going to be a lumberjack squat on the left. Sandbag's going to be up and it's going to be a square stance one hand supporting, and then mountain climbers for our next exercise. It's gonna be a standard mountain climber as we've just done. All right, so five seconds. Again, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds recovery. Here we go. And 
One, two, three. Going with a relatively heavy bag today. Going to get these short bursts of intense work. Make it a bit easier to work with a heavy resistance and still perform a fast pace. All right, there we go. Mountain climbers next. So 10 seconds, palms braced. Here we go, three, two, one. Fast with those feet, fast with those knees. Building up that heart rate. Just keeping those knees low to the ground. Less than 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, and it's gonna be a jack squat on the other side, on the right. Here we go. And down and up. Breathing out on the way up, driving those heels into the floor. Keep that elbow high, supporting the bag. And five seconds left. Three, two, one. Lumberjack. Next up, Spider-Man plank. Bringing those knees out to the elbows. Stay up on those toes. Keep those heels of the palms planted solid into the ground. Five, four, three, two, one, rainbow squat, up next, working from shoulder to shoulder, here we go, and down, up, down, up, down, up, keep that weight into those heels, use the legs to support the press, driving up with the legs and the arms together, one more, all right, next up, scorpion climbers. Here we go, tucking under the body and across. Again, light and fast with those feet. Digging in and do the work. Okay, five seconds left, core strong. Ten seconds rest, power cleans, shake out the bag, and technique on screen, here we go, down and up, bringing those elbows underneath the bag, weight into the heels, and drive, four, three, two, one, all right, next, step through from that high plank, and here we go. Go on a step, and kick through with the foot. Step, step, and lift that leg through. Five seconds more. Hands down, support the body. And move, here we go. Squat matrix. Double underhand grip. And feet together. Do the part. Step around and repeat. Down, wide, and around. Keep going. Last five seconds. Now, down, step wide, step around. Okay, dive bombers, our press up tight position, scoop low, here we go, feet wide, and down, back up, down, back up, down, keep moving, working the shoulders, five seconds left now, down and up, down and up. All right, Whew. lumberjack reverse lunge on the left. Here we go. And so loading up 
on that left side, down and up. Working against that resistance, keep the balance, weight into the heel, drive, tall at the top, three, two, one, Woo. press ups next, okay, three, two, one, down and up, 20 seconds, short burst, so let's drive as many as we can in the time. And five seconds. Now five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Next up, lumberjack reverse lunge on the right. Here we go. And down and up, down and up. Working the leg on the lead side, the glute, the quads. Drive tall, keep the pace if you can, as well as stable and controlled. Whew. All right, bare crawl steps up next. Here we go, step, step, and keep the distance short between those palms and the feet. Keep that core engaged, knees low to the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Last one, squat to press and speed burpees. Here we go, and down and up, down and up. Using the legs to drive with the arms, shoulders, core and back, working together. And nice, last one, Woo. speed burpee, fast pace. And here we go, three, two, one. And up and down, as fast as you can. Light on those toes and tall at the top, bracing the core. Last three, two, whoo! All right. Ah. Once again, short, sharp bursts. Whoo! And recovery time. Ah. That gets that heart rate working for sure. Go hands on hips. Well done. Once again, ah, really intense. A lot of work crammed into eight minutes. Go back the other way with the hips. Breathing nice and slow to recover that heart rate. Ah, so systemic. Fatigue setting in the heart, the lungs. Yes, you can feel the muscles working a little bit, but those shorter durations, those shorter intervals, not taxing the muscles ah, to the same fatigue, local muscular fatigue, as say 45 seconds of work, but very intense aerobically. That recovery rate, mental stamina, pendulum swings now. So really be sharp with those change of exercises. Not a lot of time, 10 seconds to recover and prep for the next exercise. <sighs> Gotta keep your wits about you <sighs> and keep your body moving. So wide stance, feet turned 45 degrees, one hand up, down into that stretch for the inner thigh. Get that balance, reaching up. Stretch high, I'm gonna do two more on this side. Down, stretching through the back, the chest, and the adductor, and up again. One more, down, breathe, and reach. Once again, same width to the stance. Turn the feet, 
down, fingers to, the uh, fingers to the floor if you can, open up, reach that hand back, keep it skyward, keep it long with the reach, and hold that low position, and up we go again, one more time, coming down, stretch, reach the arm back, turn the body, and up we go, one last time, we're going to walk out now, Step one foot forward, we're going to drop that rear knee slightly and bring the lead knee out to the side, getting into that lead adductor. Step, step, change it to the other side. Again, getting into that lead hip. Ah, all right, step back, walk the hands back. We're going to go into that hamstring stretch, fingers to toes and low with the body. Activity completed. Stretching the backs of the legs one last time and slowly uncurling the body, <sighs> uncurling the spine as we come up. Roll those shoulders low to high, <sighs> front to back. Fantastic work, well done indeed. Short, sharp, condensed. Again, a huge benefit to your metabolic rate. Improving, once again, vitality, improving the function and the health of your cells in your body, testing you aerobically, and with a decent resistance as well. You can get some work through the muscles, uh, no, no doubt on that. Thank you once again for joining me in these workouts. I hope you've enjoyed this workout. I hope it's helped you move towards your fitness goals. Uh, my aim is to help you become stronger, fitter, leaner, healthier, happier, and I hope this video has helped you in some way towards that goal. If you like this video, please put a like on it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to see all the videos as they come out. Drop me some suggestions in the comments below and let me know what you want to see more of. If there's other equipment you'd like to see, different types of workout modalities. Um, and then share this video if you know anyone who would benefit, who hasn't seen this already, but who would benefit from getting fitter, stronger, healthier, having someone support them in their effort towards their fitness goals, uh, then please do share these videos and, and help as many people as we can uh, improve their lives through fitness. I will see you very, very soon for another fantastic workout. In the meantime, take care.